All right, let's talk about the business side of it. So I, in this canvas, you might already notice that we're not only talking about strategies, we're talking about actions, right? Because you don't have time to really just strategize. You gotta strategize when you gotta move to action. In this business section, what we notice is people did these steps, sometimes all at once, sometimes different ways, sometimes they took the time in each one. And I'm gonna break them down for you so therefore you can understand the process of what they did to get there. Now, if you wanna do it all at once, that's fine. I'm gonna give you a few examples of that. But if you wanna do it step by step, that's also fine. In our workbook, you could actually take the time and work through these steps step by step. I'm gonna walk you through the example, uh, the scenario first and then the example as once. Let's talk about it. So first, you will notice that in this box under the business module or the business block, there are four boxes. And what are those boxes are? The first one is what you have. So in this section, we're gonna talk about what is it that you have today? The next section, you will notice that we're gonna talk about what can you leverage? What are the things that could be leveraged with what you have? So what you have and what you could leverage. And then next, we're gonna talk about what can you offer? So now that you know what you have, what can you leverage? Can you offer a product or a service? Can you offer a new service or a new, or a new product for your customers? Can you offer it to a new customers, right? And then the last one, you will notice it'll say pilot. You gotta test it. Pilot means nothing more than test. So let's walk through this in specific example, maybe one or two that could allow you to think through it. But first, let's talk about what does it mean to list what you have. I'm gonna encourage you to take the time to list all that you have. You might have never done this. Maybe you've done this before, I'm not sure. But list all what you have. What do you have? Well, look around your office. Do you have any furniture? Do you have any equipments? Do you have any you know, people, right? What are they doing, right? What skills do they have? Think about everything you have. Think about also your college. Think about your high school. Think about your neighborhood. Think about your community that you live in, the business community that you work in. Are you a member of a chamber? Are you a member of an association? Do you belong to a certain clubs? This is all part of what you have. Once you make a list, clearly we don't have time to go through it here, right? But once you make the list, take one of them out. I'm gonna let you choose whatever you wanna choose. You might say, well, I have some cash. All right, that's fine. Well, I have someone that could do Adobe and the, right now they're not using it to, to their full extension. That's fine. I'm a member of a chamber, but I'm at the entry level, so I'm not part of those committees that they meet and they strategize and talk about what needs to be done. Whatever that case is, I'm okay with it. Just pick one. Now that you tell me what you have, maybe you write a list of all your customers, right? This is something you have. Maybe you write a list of all the resources, your suppliers. That's something else you have. Maybe you make a list of all your, all, all the different types of customers that you have. Medical doctors, you know, attorneys, individuals, you know, something like that. So this is all resources that you have. Once you make that list, now we could go and say, what can you leverage? Let's just take an example and let's say you sell shampoo and conditioners, your hair salon. So what do you have? Well, I have all this inventory. Great. What can you leverage? Well, right now, they're not packaged, so you have to buy the shampoo by itself, the conditioner by itself. I could package them. Or, no one's buying smaller bottle of shampoo anymore. I gotta make it and, you know, make it in a bigger bottle of shampoo. And I have these empty bottles that I could use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repackage them. So therefore, they don't buy one small bottle, they buy one big bottle. All right, that's fine. So this is exactly what we're talking about. What do you have? What can you leverage? So now I'm gonna be thinking, I used to have a bottle of shampoo and a conditioner. I'm combining them. Now it's a, you buy a combination shampoo and conditioner together and maybe body wash and make it a package. Or you was a package and you're gonna break it down or break it up. Doesn't matter. So what do you have? What can you leverage? Now you can think about what can you offer. So I have these shampoos. People wanna buy it in a bigger bottles because they don't wanna come back every time. No one's traveling for it at this moment. I'm gonna repackage it and then I'm gonna offer it. I'm gonna say, hey, if you wanna buy a bottle of shampoo, I'm gonna give you a conditioner with it or whatever the scenario is. I'm not suggesting you should give your product for free. I'm just suggesting for you to think through the process of what you're gonna offer. Once you offer that, now you could pilot. You say what? Maybe I can, I don't offer it to everyone, but I have a segment of my population that used to buy all these smaller bottles because they were traveling much more. I'm gonna tell them, hey, listen, I have all these smaller bottles that you could buy now as one big bottle price or whatever the scenario is, and now you could try to pilot. And you could test it. You might say, well, 
No one bought the conditioner, they only bought the shampoos. All right, so now maybe we gotta make adjustments. And this is really the process of what I have, what I could leverage, what I could pilot, uh, offer, and what I could pilot. I'm giving you this specific example because I want you to think about what you could do in your business, okay? I'll give you another example of the restaurant, right? Repurposing is somewhat similar to this concept of business here. What they have is they have the space that they could use, what they could leverage is they have a relationship with a supplier that brings food or brings, you know, uh, fresh produce. What they can offer is they can offer a new, you know, items that customers could buy from them while they're buying their food. What they could pilot is certain customers if they're spending, you know, 50 bucks or more or 100 bucks or more to offer, hey, we could get you some of your grocery items that you may need for basic for your home. It's a similar process to about what you could do in the business. So think about this from that perspective. So first, you want to make sure, make sure that you list all you have. Second, take one at a time, and you can do this in the workbook that we provided you as well. Take one of them, and now think about how you could leverage that, all the different ways. And then third, you want to think about what can you offer with now what you could leverage, right? What's the new offering that you're going to be offering? Could be a new offer to a new customer, could be a new offering to existing customers, could be a new offering to existing new product or new service. The offer could be all kinds of stuff. And then you got a pilot. And it could be, again, piloting to your existing customers, piloting to your new customers, piloting it to something completely different. I hope that this process helped you think through what you could do to be resilient in your business, looking around with what you have. And the reason I'm sharing this with you because these are the individuals, including myself, where we initially had no resources to do something. But when we started looking around, we realized we have some resources we just never done anything with them. Even though they might be limited resources or, you know, underserved resources, but they are resources. And we want to think about what you could do with those resources. And this is exactly what we're doing here with this business block. Thanks for being with us.